Yo, what's going on my people? You guys can see it. It is a great day to be a XDC holder. You guys can see it, man. If you're new to this channel, we've been covering XDC extensively for quite some time. And to really see some geysers like this, it's no joke. Now, I'll have to be honest with you guys. I've been seeing the fray. I've been seeing the back and forth. And we understand, you know, folks are like, look, XDC versus XLM. XDC is going to flip XRP. We understand it, guys. We've even put it out there ourselves. XDC just might be be the best ISO crypto with smart contracts. You get what I'm saying? Understand that, guys. We're going to be uh, doing an awesome XDC update for you. I hope you've been enjoying the past 24 hours because you know what you do get over here? Another 24 hours of blessings. My people, if you guys are just coming into this thing, if you don't mind, please smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and step into our updates, shall we? So you guys can see right here, it's a good day. It's an awesome day, especially over here on this side. Guys, there's a few uh, XDC juicers that are out there, and I think it's a good thing. We're seeing the retail market totally over that thing that we called speculation, totally over that thing of, of just watching something, and these are just uh, lottery tickets. This right here is a utility phase, and I'm really glad to see it. If you're interested in getting yourself some XDC right now, though, grab yourself some on KuCoin, and as well, uh, I would suggest BitTrue. BitTrue most likely is taking on quite a bit of uh, volume for that. Let's go ahead and step into it. Now, like I said, guys, a very innovative project I wanted to talk with you guys about is Prime Numbers. We've covered them a few different times. Uh, if you guys have been wanting to, you know, delve into the XDC community, delve into the XDC ecosystem, start at Prime Port if you're really getting in for NFTs. This is going to start you with the utility staking. And there's some, you know, pretty interesting projects that are out there. Of course, you guys understand uh, uh, Prime, Nor Prime Port is is uh, EVM compatible and as well as cross-chain on the uh, uh, the BSC. But one project I want to talk with you guys about is Zero Fee Punks, ZFP if you will, Zero Fee Punks. You guys could see it, man. Really interesting collection coming out from the guys over there. You guys can see it for some hefty, hefty XDC. But they're making some really interesting art out there. Even with all these designs, I've been seeing it everywhere in the XDC community. Now, one thing I was seeing coming out from the Deutsche Bank, I think it's important that you guys understand just because a delay has happened doesn't mean it's a denial. You guys find yourself holding ISO cryptos doesn't mean that you really have to be swayed by the sentiments of the retail market. You guys understand that, you know, the World Cup is over. A lot of people honestly lost some loot and won some loot. A lot of people are letting go of Algorand because it's the end of the World Cup. Chili's is receiving again. So a lot of selling pressure. So understand when it comes down to ISO and there being a delay, that does not mean that there isn't a lot of work that's happening behind the scenes. Now, if you're new to this channel, you might have been hearing something about ISO community, ISO crypto, blah, blah, blah. It really started here. I want to really say this. When it comes down to the ISO 20022 change that's going to be coming to banks, Corporations can benefit. Why? Because what it's going to be doing is enhancing cross-border payments for banks, central banks, companies, really the financial landscape in a whole, because they're all going to be speaking the same language and having access to new data. So if you're new to this whole thing, what actually happened, everyone has been, look, this channel has been waiting for about two years now for the world to really switch over to this standard, because there's a thing up under it called the inner ledger protocol. And really to understand how that whole thing works, you really understand how ISO cryptos happen. So I want to say this for our pre premium people for our members and patrons we're going to be giving you guys again a real deep dive so you can understand the considerations of where this whole thing is going to be going and how the banks are seeing it i want to go over it as well with you if this is just your first time seeing me or if you're just visiting understand the chosen five means xrp xlm xdc algorand and iota chosen five being a part of the out being a part of the inner ledger protocol family 
Now, real quickly over here, Atul Kakade, he's the co-founder of XDC. Again, guys, go ahead and give him a follow over on, on Twitter. What he recently put out there is this, key information, banks will be able to hold 2% of their reserves in tokenized form, period. That was an announcement that was put out here uh, officially. I wanna show you guys this. They're speaking on Basel 3, coming out from the Basel Committee, just basically speaking on what's going to be happening in a, in a financial financial crunch. Right now, I'm sure you guys are seeing it. Global recessions are happening everywhere, everywhere around you. It doesn't matter if you're listening to me from Europe, China, it doesn't matter your location. There is something that's happening, but understand that there is something that's happening to make sure that the framework for digital assets can operate. So when it comes down to central banks and in emergency situations, crypto assets can be put on the books. That's what Basel 3 is all about. Basel 3 will be activated January 1st. But what a tool is really stressing here is that the XTC network is one of the most optimum layer one blockchain infrastructures available for said tokenization. So if you're new to this channel, what we've been saying is that even the black BlackRock CEO has announced that the next market, okay, the next traditional markets, all financial markets will be tokenized. So that's the thing. Do you hold crypto? That's optimal, especially enterprise grade for asset tokenization. Very key. That's what we've been talking about over here. So again, what we've been saying, guys, Basel 3, gold has been explicitly in Basel 3, this that I speak on, gold, this here, that beautiful god money has been explicitly de de defined as high quality liquid assets in the system okay in the system and will therefore be a very important part of the new banking system of the new banking system now if you're new to this channel we've been speaking a lot about the new banking system but our patrons and members know a lot more details about it just want to suggest it consider joining us over here on that side but we've been speaking about it especially with iso cryptos now for our truth seekers out there you know what we mean or you know the association with gold silver copper and i'm seeing a lot of channels out there out there that really just want to try to spill the beans how they will it is what it is guys here's my next point interoperability for central bank digital currencies now if you're new to this channel we have been talking about the uprise the inclusion okay of the design of central bank digital currencies if you don't know cbdc's are going to be coming you to your way if you don't know okay it doesn't matter if you're france and japan it doesn't matter if you're listening to me in germany right now central banks are working on their design but that's the thing not every central bank digital currency can have some cookie cutter design so they have to work on interoperability for that interbank uh a central bank dcbdc's that means that these banks are eventually going to move over completely digital all right but what will be here physically what will be here physically? Yeah, baby, real value. Now let's go ahead and step into this thing. So with the Bank of France, HSBC and IBM testing their interoperability for wholesale CBDCs. Now guys, if you've been following with what's been going on, this is not new news, okay? But I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit of what they're saying here. Following experiments demonstrating that DLT could be used with existing networks to complete CBDC transactions. Bank of France, HSBC, and IBM have been looking into these key findings. This is all great because I want you guys to understand, if you actually have a network, you're holding an ISO crypto that can host these central bank digital currencies, you're going to be on the way up. Really quickly so you guys could see a visual of it all, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and follow this account over on Twitter. They are responsible for making these uh, here updates, but it's really about it. And this is the point for you XDC holders. R3 Corda had something to do with it. The the leading token of value on R3 Corda? Yes, you guessed it, XDC. Really quickly to show you guys that visual R3 being associated here with XDC on Corda, Impel being the ISO 20022 API. That's gonna be the interface to work all that data, all that data rich messaging for payments through the XDC network. You guys can see that it is EVM compatible, EVM compatible, so it can link in with those Boo Boo Coin ERC20 EVM smart con uh, contracts and platforms. Really good stuff. Now, lastly, big shout out to Michael Crypto. Go ahead and give him a follow. Big ups over there uh, for doing what he does, giving you guys information on XDC. But listen, this is a really good, uh, uh, really good article right here. Bridging the gaps 
and building networks through digitized trade finance, guys. This is a great thing. Now, one thing I want to stress, if you are new to XDC, if you've been just, you know, obviously seeing it's on a pump, you're kind of got that FOMO. You're like, look, bro, what's the deal with this? Trade finance is, uh, well, global trade is the backbone of any economy. I'll continue to say that it is the backbone of any economy. Uh, because it really has something to do with how you're listening to me right now. If it's the screen that you're looking at, if it's the window you're looking out of, if the room that you're in, whatever it is, trade finance has something to do with it, global trade. So trade finance um, makes a part of about 80 to 90 percent of all global trade transactions because it involves financing, it involves credit, it involves insuring between different companies or different countries, jurisdictions and languages. So if you can actually have digitized trade finance, that's going to be a big benefit towards paper based trade. So, and, and guys, if, if all of this is kind of going over your head, I understand, please dive through our library. We have a lot of XDC videos that you guys can enjoy. I'm telling you guys, it, we have such a library, you could binge our mix. You get what I'm saying? All right, so let's actually talk about bridging that, bridging said gap. So, and I wanna say this as well to XDC. XDC has support from uh, Singapore. They're headquartered out in Singapore but as well, the UK picks them up. The international, uh, the ICC, the International Chamber of Commerce, yes, yes, very important for trade law. So I want you guys to see this. With Asia being one of the largest economies, trade finance is a key element in facilitating commerce in the region. According to the IMF, about half, half of the imports in the US and a third in Europe come from Asia. That's trade, that's global trade, y'all. That's all, that's all export, all import. All of that import export. So we're going to be optimizing this document processing here. That's exactly what Trade Finex does. Really quick, so you can see this this um, mechanism here. Trade Finex. You, once you do your homework and look into XDC, you'll understand that that's what Trade Finex does. They optimize those trade documents. Now, trade documents. Really, to keep it brief with you, trade documents are really here, like I was saying, bills of lading, bills of credit, bills of insurance, to make sure that that actual thing happens. So these data sets are exchanged at different stages of the supply chain, but due to reliance on paper documents and checking, can introduce unnecessary holdups and delays. So obviously DLT will switch all of that up, will change all of that up. How? Because again, you're saving so much time through the enhancement of ISO 20022 messaging. You have uh, this optimization now that everyone is speaking the same language. Manual processing, rudimentary structuring uh, is all ineffective at com combating duplication and fraud. There is still fraud that still happens here. So digitally enabling immutability is the key, meaning you can uh, making DLT or uh, NFTs. Long story short, and I'm just, you know, giving you guys real backgrounds because I understand that you're really hot on XDC and it's really, that's the thing, you're, you're, you're discovering real utility here, okay? You're discovering real utility in one of the, our favorite ISO crypto. XRP number one for what it's supposed to do, but like I said, best ISO crypto with smart contracts. Uh, but so you can understand it, what Trade Finex, what Trade Finex is really gonna be doing is allowing this thing right here, what they're gonna be doing is allowing all of those bills of credit, trade uh, 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 policy papers and, and insurance papers to be digitized uh, through that platform, okay? So digital solutions such as blockchain hold the potential to alleviate trade finance by providing infrastructure to manage large volumes of data quickly now think about this guys there is no other dlt trade lens <clears throat> by ibm it's more for um the the processing of documents if you will inigio there's there's a lot of platforms that are really helping with trade finance but look at look at this so blockchain technology dlt will enable documents related to trade finance to be effectively managed by hashing it to ensure that parties involved are able to access and amend documents to its latest version. This single source of truth has also contracts to be created. So guys, obviously they're talking about XDC all the way through here. I'll leave you guys a link 
so you guys can look through that because you understand if you're new to XDC, do your homework. This is not some little light thing. It doesn't matter if you're coming in from the doggy camp. It doesn't matter if you're like jumping ship from Solana. It doesn't matter if you're coming in from Ethereum. You found something that is the crown jewel and this is the absolute proof of it. You want something that's going to be here for decades, not just something with metaverse longevity. No, humans still have to have sustenance. They're still going to be out here hours and hours on metaverse, but they still need their their uh, their their cannabis to consume and their pizza to eat. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the thing, guys. We're moving into the future. But I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. But I'll holler at you later. Peace.